All right, what is going on guys? So ever since the beta came out, I had a couple main questions about She-Hulk and Spider-Gwen uh, when I read about their Unstoppable. And the main question was, how far does this go, right? The first thing that popped in my head was Aspect of War and Brawl because we had the Captain Marvel quest. Tested it, works against Aspect of War. I didn't test it against Brawl, but I would assume it's the same principle for those. Um, so I'm going to assume it works. Now, that's if you read their ability, that's pretty much all the unstoppables, right, that they can counter. So I'm like, this is sick. There's one other unstoppable I wanted to know about, though. Labyrinth Juggernaut. Does she buff, she hulks, slow debuff, and spider wins as well counter this unstoppable? Because it's it's not a it's not a debuff. It's an effect. So it, it should counter, right? That was what I was thinking. It, this should work. So I went ahead, went all the way into Labyrinth here because they finally opened it up in the beta. And really see this. So when we bait the special out, there should be no unstoppable. But there is unstoppable. So it doesn't counter Labyrinth, Juggernaut's Enigmatic Unstoppable. It counters passive unstoppables, buff unstoppables, but it does not counter that. So that really sucks. I was really disappointed when I saw that. But I was thinking, okay, well, can She-Hulk still counter this guy? Like, how, how how hard is it to get off heavy attacks on this guy, like, in a real fight? Like, let's say I took a rank 5 She-Hulk, you know, I was doing this fight. Like, could I keep the Furies up? How, how could this work, right? Because uh, with She-Hulk, you want to keep those Furies up. So I'm, I'm seeing, you know, like, with parries, it's easy. But I'm going to run out of parries really soon. So seeing if this is really doable and, like, reliable with She-Hulk. And right here, all, all my Furies just fell off. Uh, we didn't really have a lot anyways, but yeah, there they all go. So that sucks. Uh, the good thing is, at least with the slow debuff, you don't have to worry about the buff uh, unstoppable, so that like you can cancel out the enigmatic unstoppable right away instead of having to wait that out. That's one of the plus sides to it, but I'm really disappointed that it doesn't counter the enigmatic unstoppable. Really disappointed, man. Maybe uh, it's supposed to, and Kabam just didn't update it because this is like a special case, but I... I don't know. I, I don't think they change it, man. I don't know though. Uh, hopefully they do, because then she all could really be a good good count. She could be one of the best counters to this guy. If so, because it's not that difficult to keep the slow debuff on. Then you could really build your furies up, because um, you wouldn't have to worry. So hopefully, man. But uh, after this, I was like, okay. Well, what about Spider Gwen? Uh, their debuffs are similar, uh, so I assume. There, it's going to be the same thing, but might as well try, right? So uh, this fight doesn't go on for too much longer, I don't think, here. Uh, I started building up some Furies, um, but I'm pretty much going to start running out of parry soon, and that's when uh, things are going to get bad. Um, so yeah, pretty soon here. Uh, I think I actually just get hit right there, yeah. So you can see it's, I mean, doable, yes. I mean, re reliable, ah. I don't know, so it's, yeah, I don't know, take that as you will, we know it doesn't work now, but let's see about Spider-Gwen, uh, cause I had some ideas with Spider-Gwen, right, so this fight, uh, I'll let you guys know it doesn't start out well, you know, I, I gotta learn the spacing of Spider-Gwen's heavy to Juggernaut's heavy and everything, and the fight just didn't really start out too well, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, but yeah, we got the slow debuff on him, so now let's bet out a special, let's test it, and unfortunately, it still doesn't work, I mean, I, I assumed it wouldn't work if it didn't work for She-Hulk, it wouldn't work for Spider-Gwen, so that sucks. So now, reversing this guy, you pretty much have to use a heavy to get rid of his and stop, but right here I get stunned. <laughs> Super annoying, um, but it's all good. See, so I need to get off a heavy attack now, and the spacing was kind of weird, I think. Um, once, sometimes you can kind of push it back, I think that caught me a couple times, we'll see. Uh, right here, just throw my L2, they might have fixed the L2, but if you look, he's not gaining any power right now, even from my hits with the paralyze on him. I don't know if they changed something, but I saw that, I noticed that was really weird. Uh, I think it's, okay, see there, the spacing was good there on the heavy attack, and now here's where Spider-Gwen could actually be reliable against this guy. So pretty much you just put the enervate on him and you keep it up, right? You stay super duper aggressive, you enervate him, uh, right there, got tagged, uh, super annoying. These guys have evaded like twice already, I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, Evade in Labyrinth is annoying. It's even it's so much worse on a champion's like Juggernaut man, where there's actually like, it's actually already a super hard fight. Um, there's another one. Like what is going on, man? What are you, Spider Man? Uh, you trying to be Spider Gwen's guy? Like trying to show off? Trying to flex big old juggy? 
But uh, yeah, it's pretty much keep those Pam in the L1, get the get the enigmatic, uh, or not enigmatic, the innervates uh, going. Look at that, another evade. Like, I don't know what this guy was on, man. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. He's really trying to show off for Spider Gwen, man. He likes her new buffs. Um, but yeah, it's kind of hard to keep it up when he's evading. But I think this could be a doable fight with Spider Gwen. Not a solo. Well, maybe. Uh, if you played really well and you got kind of lucky too. But like with the, the innervates proccing. Because there's only a 30% chance on every hit. So you can, you can get unlucky. You can also get lucky. Um, on the average, you're going to be triggering one like every combo, which is good. Um, but yeah, like see, like this could work. This actually could work. And uh, if he gets to a special, you just use your heavy, and then uh, he won't get the the regular unstoppable. At least if he gets another special, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, I was just trying to stay aggressive, intercept him, and you know, it's it's kind of working. I, I could see this kind of better than She Hulk, but it's going to be longer with She Hulk if you could at least get the Furies up and weave everything together uh also i'm unboosted i'm not boosted at all for the these fights so if you pop some big boy boost maybe you can make something happen with the two um but really disappointed that uh neither of them countered juggies unstoppable uh after it countered aspect of war i thought it was gonna counter juggies but nope 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 uh i don't think this fight goes on for too much longer but as you can see like we've done a decent chunk with spider gwen like i'm not bad man more evades what is going on with this guy man uh but yeah you can see we're hitting pretty hard we're into courage range now so we're hitting for almost 10k uh, i i would have liked to get my, my damage up from the l3 but for this fight for spider gwen you pretty much just gotta keep spamming the l1 keep them enervated uh keep them in that corner just think of it as like if you were using magic that's kind of how you gotta think of it um just power locking right there I don't know how he blocked that, but with Spider Gwen's L1, it, it pushes you back enough, so you, it, even if they block it, uh, you won't get punished, which is really nice. I really like that on L1. Stark Spidey has that, Star Lord has that. It's a really nice ability. Um, but yeah, like Spider Gwen, she's doing pretty good, man. Not gonna lie, I was pretty impressed. Uh, this strategy does make you play extremely aggressive. You gotta be really on your toes. Uh, especially for those evades if they're evading like crazy, but try to intercept like crazy stay super duper aggressive uh, And yeah soon after that I died so I just cut her there uh, And then there's one other thing I wanted to test. I was like, okay Well, what about regular unstoppable Colossus? This guy doesn't have any enigmatic abilities. So I was thinking she could be pretty good here and uh, This fight man's interesting. So right here go ahead and put the slow debuff on him um, and yeah, as long as we have that slow debuff on him, he's not going to be triggering any unstoppables, uh, which is really nice. Uh, She-Hulk, or I, we, we have the class advantage here, but I don't think this guy counts as a, a large character. I don't know. I don't think he does, because She-Hulk gets some stuff against large characters. I was thinking that could be good for jugs too, but eh. Right here, I, I try to get the, the spacing on that. Um, I I'm, I was close. That's not quite the spacing, but I, I find it in, in the fight. I find the groove uh, right there. I found the spacing because we didn't get hit by uh, the L1. But pretty much, if you guys haven't she haven't seen any She-Hulk gameplay, uh, how you want to do things is you just want to keep baiting specials before your Furies fall off, and uh, they'll keep refreshing. So you see we're at nine Furies right now. Uh, bait the special luckily there and uh, it refreshes and you pretty much just want to keep doing that over and over you can stack uh, I don't think there's a limit on the Furies that you can stack uh, I've seen Brian made a video where he had 50 that's the highest I've seen um, I've, the highest I've gone is into the 40s everything just dies before I uh, uh, before I get to more Furies um, or they just don't throw a special and then I lose all my Furies that's super annoying that's happened a couple of times but yeah She-Hulk man her buff man honestly I think they're gonna tone it down. If I had to be honest, um, I after seeing the other people's labyrinth gameplay, after I probably played like five hours of labyrinth today. Um, playing a lot. Uh, get had, it takes a while to get to the juggernaut. Um, I went to him a couple times, so yeah, I've been doing a lot of fights in labyrinth. But after testing out She Hulk, man, I would not be surprised if they toned her down. Um, she's she's really good for labyrinth for this kind of content where you can uh bait out the specials and w when you can get things aligned with her she is insane you can see that heavy attack hit for like 38k you can see our basic attacks are hitting for 8k without crit with a 20 furies and just, just remember th these can go uh up to at least 50 from what i've seen so at least 50 so this can at least be doubled like 
her basic attacks will start hitting the damage cap, man. I, I, I won't be surprised if they toned, toned down this buff um, because that's what the bait is for. So, you know, like, Kabam, it's within their rights to tone it down. Like, I'm not saying they should. I'm just saying, like, don't be surprised if they do tone it down. Like, wait, don't rank up your She-Hulk just by seeing this. You know, wait until uh, the changes are permanent and they're announced because uh, I, I could see it being toned out a bit. But uh, we'll see. I don't think it's, like, OP... Uh, it's, I'd say it's kind of overpowered in Labyrinth here. Uh, probably the fastest clear, uh, if, if, uh, the stars align, you, you get your Furies really ramped up and everything. Uh, she's faster than Star-Lord for some fights. Uh, drawbacks doesn't work when you're versing skill champs, um, or I think if you just have the class disadvantage in general. But, like, I, I wouldn't see her being used in, uh, like, Alliance War, uh, with these changes. I mean... Uh, maybe honestly she would she could actually probably counter things unstoppable if the slow debuff was on hmm maybe she could counter thing boss if you cut those furies up actually and you put a slow debuff on him actually maybe she would have some use in alliance war i don't know but we'll see uh, i'm excited i really love when they when they do these betas man i really like when i get to be a part of it um but yeah that's gonna do it for this video uh so we know that it does not counter uh, juggernauts unstoppable unfortunately but uh, it does counter on aspect of war unstoppable it counters pretty much every other unstoppable in the game so far from my testing at least uh, I do gotta check brawl let me know if she counters brawl if you guys have tested it or if you've seen it let me know on that one but uh, yeah it's gonna do it for this video hope you guys did enjoy you know someone had to go test ju it against juggernauts uh, I don't mind being the person to do it because uh, we need these answers we need these questions answered so yeah it's gonna do it for this video if you guys did enjoy drop a like uh let me know any other beta content you guys want to see because labyrinth is open now if there's any specific fights you want to see anything for me to do let me go leave any ideas down in the comments i'm not afraid to get into the deep dark places of labyrinth of legends so yeah let me know thanks for watching hope you enjoy peace